Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editorix. Today I want to show you a real use case how to use max content in the right way uh, and maybe give you some tips uh, that will help you to um, to lay out your information in better way all right so this is the final results results we want to achieve so actually what we see here so for this example we have uh, some data that came from database and it displayed in, in repeater so each card have this image um, this is the first name and this is the last name of this fake person and of course we have this fake email so so this is two two type of information that combines together and this email is have some uh, background uh, background container and the idea behind of it is that um, the element is always adjust themselves based on its own content all right so let's jump to the, this example so let's see this um, uh, data that I that I have here for this site it's demi data it's just for this example so as you can see I have I don't need this title I have first name last name email and lots of uh, more information including this image this avatar so I connected this data to this repeater uh, elements to this data set so, for example, you can see that this um, uh, title displayed the first name without the last name because the last name is different. Um, it's different column in my database. So, how can I display first name and last name uh, side by side, but still it, it should look like uh, same same text element right so we will use max content for it uh, I will show you two example of max content the first is with grid uh, gr grid column uh, max content the second one will be like uh, take element and set its width to be max content so but so what is max content and how it's work so the general rule is said that uh, if you set a max content width to an element it should take the maximum of, co of the content width so le for this example uh, let's take a look about this text element its width is 80 percent but i want to change it to be max content right so let's see what happened as you can see the width of this element now is exactly the way the way uh, the width of this the, this text element right so for example if I add here more content let's write more content as you can see in result the width of this text element is getting bigger right based on my content um, we still can limit the maximum width if here the width is max content I of course can set it set also maximum width let's say 400 pixels so basically you can see that it's try it try to uh, get bigger but because I have this maximum width so it's start to to break so let's increase it a little bit and now you can see that I have three letters in a row so three words sorry so let's remove it and now this uh, text element is exactly the same as the character that I have in my text all right so this is the the general idea of max content um, and now let's um, now I want to display here not only the first name but also um, the, the last name right 
So this uh, content is placing inside a grid item, inside a repeater item, and it have um, a grid of three rows, as you can see right here. So I will take this text element and right click and place it inside a container. This is shortcut, sh shortcut to place an element inside a container feature that I'm using a lot. So, so now I have basically I have this text element inside a container. This is the grid item, and this is our um, first name text element. All right, so let's select the container, the new container we created, and let's add grid of two columns. All right, so if as you can see here, um, the, the first column is 1FR, the second column is also 1FR. So first of all, this text element should live inside the first column. All right, 100% width. Great, so now let's duplicate it. I'm using the hotkey command D to duplicate this text element. And immediately it's, it's already connected to, to the first name. But first of all, let's place him in the second column and let's set it to be 100% and let's dock it to the left side and now it sits as we want it. All right, so it looks like this right now, which is not good. Oh, I forgot to change the connection to be connected to the last name. Right, so immediately we should see all this data populate. All right, it's working. So the first action that I'm going to do is to change the alignment of each text element to be aligned to left. All right, this should be aligned to left and also this one. So this is the result we have so far. So the first thing we, we can do is to set the container of this text element as max content okay let's see what happened so this is the container let's set its width not to percentage but max content all right and let's make it center all right so as you can see um, this one is look okay but this one is not looking good and the first one is really not looking good all right so so the issue is that the 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 parent container of this text elements it has its own grid so let's see the grid if you remember it's 1fr 1fr and 1fr unit means that if i have if if this text element is 1fr it means that, sorry, if the longest text element, this one, is sitting on its own column, which is 1FR, and so the first column is try to make it equal as the biggest, um, uh, as the biggest content there is in the second column, all right? So, basically, here it's looking good because we have almost same length of text element but here the the last name is bigger than the first name this is why we get this empty space because the first column try to make it, try to make it equal to the second column because the one fr one fr so the easy fix is to let's go back to let's go back to the parent container and change the first column not to not to be 1FR but you can set it to be also max content it will work but I'm preferring to use auto all right why because basically because if you have here very long name it will always take the max content and then the text can go outside my my main container anyway auto and max content will work so all we need to do is to make some space between 
uh, the two columns. So let's see something like, <coughs> sorry, six pixels. And now you can see that I have first name, last name, and it's looking good on all my repeater items. Okay. So this is like really good use case. Um, uh, also, for example, if you display price uh, that is came from database, uh, uh, like a number type, and you want to add like the dollar sign or whatever. So this is a good example how you can combine two text elements and they will always stay next to each other and even if if even if the value will grow they are always stay next to each other so the second solution we want to to do is to add some background color to this text element all right so of course we can uh we can go to design text and change this background to i don't know let's uh Let's pick this green just for, for, for example, I won't go with this solution, but, and then I will go to the text element and set it to be max content and it's look kind of okay, but I want to add some, some spacing, uh, and maybe border radius, which I cannot do, which, which I cannot do with, with, if I apply the design directly to the text element, right? So we will go with different methods. So let's reset our changes. All right. So again, I will place this text element inside a container. So right click on this element, place inside a container. And now I will give some color to the, the, con the container, not the text element. So let's go with white. It says uh, 12 12 plus percent maybe 10 and now I can set its width to be max content all right so now it's exactly same as the length of my email and let's make it center and now I can go and add some padding let's set something like six from left uh, 10 from top, no, 10 is too much, maybe 8, 8 from bottom, and 6 from right side, maybe it's too much, I will go with, you know what, let's go with 6 for, even 4, alright, this is look okay, and this will be 8, the left and right. And now I can add some border radius. So let's go with six. All right. And, and now you can see that I have different length of email addresses, but the background is exactly the same as my content plus this padding that I created. All right. Um, so this is the, the general idea. But I would like to give you some more tips about when to use max content. So my rule um, for for the most of, of the cases, when you have some text element that you don't want it to be breaks in any uh, situation, uh, like to two two column, uh, to, sorry, two lines. For example, if I to if I take this max content and set it to be uh, by percentage, but even if I will make it bigger, all right, something like this. Okay, so in this, sorry, let's make it twenty five. All right, so in this screen width, it will look good. But as I will as as I try start to to make my uh, screen smaller, as you can see now, 25% is not enough for this text element. So when I'm using max content, I'm assuring that no matter what, this width of this text element always be, will be the same as my content. So another 
great example is that even if I have um, a text scale, all right, so let's do 50 to 10, you, you will see that the bounding box of this text element will always be the same even when this the text is getting smaller right so let's see let's add some background color so we we can easily see the difference of the width when i'm start to shrink shrinking it as you can see the text element is getting smaller and everything is exactly the width is exactly the same as my um, text width. Um, another uh, another use case that I'm always using max content is basically um, a bu buttons. Okay, so buttons is more interesting because most of the cases you you don't want to use a um, uh, percentage because because they are small and you don't want any case like the text is get is getting break something like this all right so of course you can use um a fixed unit like pixels or you can use max content all right but now it's not looking too good right so there is two places when you can fix it First of all, is from the spacing. You can add, um, you can add this horizontal padding like 15. And if you want to add some more, uh, you can, of course, you can always use some minimum width. So, for example, 120 pixels width. So it's always uh, getting. Uh, keep this this distance um, that's it I guess yeah so I'm using a lot uh, with uh, max content this is like amazing to 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 build a strong layout all right um, and that's it I hope you will gain something from it and until next time keep building amazing sites on editorics